Hello again, so I finally signed up for Chronometer. And for those of you not familiar with it, Chronometer is a diet tracking um, website. And let me tell you, this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's, it's, it's really quite impressive. So I'm just going to go switch over to my uh, Chronometer account so we can, so I can, I can show you and just, you know, talk about it as I go along. So, so with this one, you, you can keep track of all the different foods you're eating. This is just the one that I started doing today, you know, and I've got all the different things that I've been eating throughout the day and I still have yet to put dinner in. And, you know, it gives me right here, it shows me the, oh, where the apple is. That's the total calories that I've consumed today. And the flame, that's the total calories burned. And right, you know, right here, it's showing you the breakdown of calories, you know, which, how much from protein, how much from fat, how much from carbs. It's got a, you know, the breakdown also of where the calories burned are coming from. Because I'm obese, most of the calories are coming from my basal metabolic rate. Here you can see the breakdown of individual nutrients, including like the breakdown of the amino acids. It's, it's pretty impressive. And, you know, they have like just this extensive food database, you know, and for all the sort of like whole food items, they have the, the breakdowns, including the amino acid breakdown. For example, let's just look at, for example, lentils. Le oops. Lentils. Lentils cooked from dried. So let's see here. Uh, no, let's see. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Oh, okay. So if we go to... What's that? Uh, no. Nope, that's... Okay, forget forget what I said, but yeah. <clears throat> so, oh, right. My bad, okay. Okay, never mind. If I go here, I can actually find that. All right, lentils cooked from dry. Select. Okay, now we can see that. Okay, so yeah. You can see, and then you can see the breakdown of all the amino acids. You can see all the vitamins and the minerals. Like, it's impressive. I mean, even going so far as to show you the breakdown of the carbohydrates, you know, how much is fiber, how much is starch, how much is sugar. Here you can see the, the calorie breakdown by macronutrient. Here's a sort of quick, you know, kind of nutrition facts. I mean, so just for, just for the sake of being able to look up different foods, that alone is worth it, you know, and... Oh, uh, I forgot to mention that Chronometer is, is free to sign up. So, you know, if you're interested in keeping track of what you're eating or even just having a convenient way of looking up different foods, it's well worth it. Now, one of the things that I did is there is a paid version, the Gold Edition. I decided to subscribe to that for a month to, to try it out. And so far, I am finding that the additional features are well worth it. The, the one feature that made me sign up was the fact that you can select multiple items from your um, diary to make uh, a recipe, which is really handy. And if I go into foods, you know, I've got some recipes I already made. For example, I've got this one here, this lentil soup that I'm going to be having for dinner. So I, all those items, the individual items were put into my diary. I was able to select them and turn them into an entire recipe. So now, once my, my, um, my soup is done and I go to have dinner, I can just, you know, have whatever quantity of soup. And then I can specify, you know, I can go ahead and specify that amount and have the recipe just itself in my diary as opposed to all the individual ingredients. And right here I can see the breakdown of, you know, one cup of my soup. It shows me the calories and 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 on and on and on. And so it's it's really quite impressive. Just to be I mean that alone again is worth that feature right there, the ability to make recipes via individual ingredients like that. That is a very, very cool feature. That is an amazingly cool feature and well worth 
well worth paying for the uh, gold edition. The, uh, the, the, the upgraded, the gold edition, that one, you know, you could do it a number of ways. I just did it for one month just to try it out, but you could do it for the year, which is definitely going to be the cheapest option. And as soon as my month runs out, I will probably do that. And then another thing, too, is you can you can input your uh, your weight. So if you go to up here where it says to add biometric, you know, I can I can put in whatever my current weight is. I can put height, pulse, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, blood glucose, I mean, body fat, waist size. I mean, it's impressive all the different things you can put in. So this is going to be very cool for tracking my weight because I have been just keeping track of it by, you know, using a, a note-taking app on my desktop computer. But if I do it this way, I can easily, you know, access it anywhere I've got internet access, which is pretty cool. That's another big, big bonus to using an online service like this is that it's accessible wherever you have internet access. Also, if you do any exercise, you can, you know, add the exercise in and it'll calculate the uh, calories burned, which is cool. And right here, there's a chart showing the, my, uh, my weight loss. Because one of the things you can do is you can put in items for days prior to when you signed up. And so if I go to trends here, I can look at the, uh, I can see this graph here showing my, my weight loss all the way from back when I started, you know, recording my weight loss all the way to, to, um, to October 30th, which was the last time I recorded my weight. And so these are all, all uh, things that I had just been, been keeping track of all along before I, I signed up for Chronometer, and I was able to go back and put all those in. And another thing that's cool is if I go here and click on this little gear for the options, it has the option export to .csv, which is a file used in um, uh, spreadsheet programs. So I can take that data, put it into a spreadsheet, and then I can make a graph from there if I wanted to, to do a, a graph separately. It's really, really cool that you can do that. And I can do the nutrition report, which will show me like all my various nutrients for, you know, in this case, it's showing the last seven days, but I could have it show the entire year, you know, however many, you know, few weeks, few months. It's, it's actually really impressive that I can see just how, what my nutrient intake has been over the course of time. That's, that's particularly impressive. And again, with all of these, you know, I can click here into the, into the uh, settings, you know, and it's got a bunch of, bunch of information. If I go back to the diary, again, I can do this and, you know, it's got all the different, you know, different options. It's it's actually pretty impressive. This one here we have, oh, here I can, if on the settings for the calorie summary, I can change my, my basic uh, general activity. I have it set to light, but I might want to be set to, I might set it to none because I don't do much general activity, but, but yeah, it's, I mean, this is just, this is amazingly impressive. Another thing that makes this all the more impressive is the companion smartphone app. The, they have the smartphone app for both Android and the uh, iOS. And if you're going to do chronometer and you've got a smartphone, you must get the smartphone app. I think I paid it was like $2 and some odd, so it was really cheap. But what's great about the smartphone app is anything that I put in on the smartphone app is automatically synced to my chronometer account. Now, of course, that does require having internet access on your phone, so just keep that in mind. The app will not work unless you have internet access. But it's really just amazing. I can just plug it, plug stuff into my diary, and and it goes right in there. So one of the things I, I did for when I made my soup, I put in all the individual ingredients into the diary, like the entire package of lentils and the and whatever, and then that automatically synced to my chronometer account. Then I came back here to my desktop computer and I selected all those div individual ingredients, turned them into a recipe, and then deleted the individual ingredients from my uh, diary. So now I've got that recipe put in and that's really, really handy. 
Another feature that the app has that's really, really awesome is it has a barcode scanner. So I could scan the barcode on an item and if it's in its database, it'll bring it up and I can add that directly to the um, diary and I could specify, you know, how many servings and what have you. And what's really, really nice and the thing that made this app pay for itself the day I bought it, when... Uh, when you have the item, when you after you scan the barcode and it, you're on the screen where you can select the different uh, servings and whatever, it's got a drop-down box for different measurements. And the default is whatever the serving size is for that item. But if you click on the drop-down box, it'll it has the option of the entire package. And so you select that, then it'll show you the calories for the entire package and the fat for the entire package and whatever. And so. I was at the grocery store last night and I saw a bag of the uh, kettle chips which I was about to buy so I did the barcode scan on the kettle chips and so it came right up and then I had it show me the the calories and fat for the entire bag and once I saw just how bad it was I went ahead and I put those chips back because I know that I'm liable to eat the, that entire bag of chips in one sitting that's why I I effectively count the entire bag as one serving. So, yeah, that, that bag of chips cost more than that app, so that paid for itself. That is a very, very cool feature of the of the app. So, yeah, if you're going to check, if you're, I would highly, highly encourage you to check out Chronometer if, you know, if you're interested in keeping track of your diet and, you know, looking up, you know, the nutrient content of various foods. It's very convenient to have it all in one place because otherwise you could spend your time, you know, Googling and looking at different websites to figure out the nutrient content of stuff. Chronometer just makes it so easy. I mean, it really is just, it really is a pretty amazing, an absolutely amazing website. And the fact that it's free is pretty damn cool. Now, something to keep in mind is on the free version you do have advertisements so since I do I'm doing the paid version they've taken off the ads which but yeah but the paid version I'd say is worth it for the few extra features that you get but I would I would still encourage you to check out chronometer and sign up for free and just play around with it and you know and then decide if you might want to pay for the uh, the full version but if you do get some use out of Chronometer, I highly encourage you to actually pay for it because I personally find that those few extra features are worthwhile. And the smartphone app. The smartphone app is a must-have. I'm like, seriously, I'm just amazed with how well that, that app works. Like the whole thing is just, it's just amazing. And it just makes it so much, it makes it relatively easy to keep track of what you're eating. Another side bonus that I found is that if I'm keeping track of what I'm eating, that kind of limits what I'm going to eat because I'm less likely to just grab a couple of tortilla chips or something because I don't want to have to go through the hassle of, of having to figure out how I'm going to log two tortilla chips. So, you know, that's, that's kind of a side benefit. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep track of everything that I eat every day because that's going to get kind of kind of a pain in the butt but what I probably will be doing is logging everything that I'm eating on say a Friday and then I'll be when I do my uh, weekly update videos I will probably just go ahead and do a what I ate and just combine that and just do a what I ate today video and then I'll just go over you know my just talk about you know how much weight I lost and and go over what I ate and I could even just and if it's all in the chronometer, I could even sh I could even say this is how many calories I ate, this is how much protein I got, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Because one thing that would be nice about that is to be able to show people that yes, you can get enough protein on a vegan diet. You know, and so and chronometer makes it really easy to see the uh, protein. For example, even though I haven't had dinner yet, I've already gotten 100% of my protein. And it shows the different breakdowns of the amino acids. Now, that's not entirely accurate because the veggie patty that I had, all I had to go by is the uh, what was on the nutrition facts label. So I don't have the, the full breakdown of amino acids. 
Oh, which I don't know if I if I mentioned, but if there's an uh, for foods, if there's something that isn't in the database, you can always add your own custom item, which is what I had to do with that veggie patty. But but yeah, it's but yeah, this app is just this this is just absolutely mind-blowingly amazingly awesome. So if you're interested in nutrition and you just want to, you know, keep track of of what you're doing and and everything, it is absolutely just fan absolutely fantastic. Like I can't I can't say enough good things about it, you know. You know, I'd heard about it because there are various, you know, YouTubers who make who make references to it and who make use of it, but I just never really bothered with it because I figured, eh, I don't want to bother, you know, tracking my food because, you know, I did that when I did Weight Watchers and tracking is kind of a pain. But honestly, this is really fantastic. And, you know, combined with the smartphone app, it actually makes it really simple. The barcode scanning feature makes the tracking super simple, you know, and there's so much stuff that's that's in the database. It's pretty impressive. So if you're eating something that's got a barcode on it, that makes it super simple to, you know, to keep track, to put it into your diary. So, I mean, it's definitely, it's, yeah, this is just, this, this is absolutely fantastic. This is like a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. Honestly, I, I, I can't really think of anything that I would change on it. It's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty fantastic. So, Okay, my my soup is done and so I need to go I need to go check on that. So I am going to go ahead and end this video and I go check out chronometer. I will put a link to it in the video description. It is fantastic and I will see you later.